Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be talking about a type of pharmacy calculation called conversions. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So we'll begin with what are conversions? Conversions are the changing from one unit of measure to a different unit of measure. For example, going from ounces to milliliters or grams to milligrams. And the most common conversions in pharmacy are for measures of weight and volume and sometimes length, so we'll cover those as well. The key to conversion calculations is memorization of the commonly used conversion equivalents. Now we'll look at the different systems of measurement. Um, there's the US customary system and the metric system. These are two systems of measurement that are commonly seen. The United States customary system is derived from English units with no pattern of relationship between one another. This is the one most of us are familiar with. Um, one yard equals three feet equals 36 inches. There's not really a pattern of numbers for equivalents. The metric system, however, is based on multiples and fractions of 10, which make converting between larger and smaller units easy. So both systems are used in the medical field, and many of the common conversions are for changing measurements from one system to the other. Now we'll look more at the metric system. It centers on a base unit that increases or decreases by multiples and fractions of 10. And there's a prefix that indicates its relationship to the base unit. And that's the main thing to look at with this chart is to know the relationship between the prefix and the base units. So if you look in the middle of the chart where it says base unit, the base units are gram, liter, and meter. And moving up the chart, um, first we see the prefix deci. So a decigram would be one tenth of a gram then a centigram would be one hundredth of a gram, a milligram would be one thousandth of a gram, and a microgram would be one ten thousandth of a gram. And then if we come back to the base unit and then going the other way, first we have decagram. So 10 grams would equal one decagram. Hectogram, 100 grams would equal one hectogram. And kilogram, 1,000 grams would equal one kilogram. And I've put in bold here the ones that are the most commonly seen in pharmacy. So microgram, um, which is abbreviated with the lowercase Greek letter mu or MC with a G, the microgram. Um, milligram, which is MG or milliliter, ML. Um, centimeter, CM, and then kilogram or kg. Now we'll look at the weight conversions. Um, weight conversions are used to determine solid medication dosages and quantities and for waste bait dosage calculations. So this chart are the common weight conversion equivalents that should be committed to memory. Um, with gram, one gram equals 1,000 1, milligrams. Um, milligram, um, one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. Um, a kilogram, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, and that also equals 2.2 pounds. Grain, which is GR, um, one grain equals 64.8 milligrams. And I just put a note here, GR is the abbreviation for grain. That does not equal gram. The G or GM is gram, so be sure you know the difference between those. Pound, which is LB, one pound equals 454 grams. Now we'll look at the volume conversions. Um, the volume conversions are used to determine liquid medication quantities and dose, doses. And here, the, here this chart shows the common volume conversion equivalents in pharmacy. Um, a teaspoon, TSP, um, one teaspoon equals five milliliters. A tablespoon, which is TBSP, one tablespoon equals 15 milliliters, which also equals three teaspoons. Liter, which is L, one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Milliliter, or ML, one milliliter equals 20 drops, and if you remember, drops is often abbreviated GTTS, and that also equals one CC, which stands for cubic centimeter. 
for ounce, that it's OZ, or it's also seen as a fluid ounce. Um, one ounce equals 30 milliliters. And gallon, or GAL, one gallon equals four quarts, which equals eight pints. And a pint, which is PT, one pint equals 473 milliliters. And the last two on there, I have, I didn't bold those because those aren't as common, but they, they still are ones you need to know. Now we'll look at the length conversions. As I said, length conversions aren't used much in pharmacy, but they're good to know for tests. So some common length conversion equivalents, um, inch, which is abbreviated IN, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Meter, which is M, one meter equals 100 centimeters. And feet, which is FT, one foot equals 12 inches. And now we'll look at um, how we solve conversion calculations. And there are two methods we'll, we'll look at today. And uh, I just thought the best way to explain this is just to have an example of something that we need to convert, and then we'll look at how to solve it. So the example here is how many ounces are in 300 milliliters? So what we know, remember I said we need to memorize these conversions that were on the tables, um, one ounce equals 30 milliliters. So knowing that, with method one, what we'll do is set up fractions that cancel like units of measurement, and then we'll multiply the fractions to get the answer. So there's one ounce per 30 milliliters. And you can just think of, you know, per means to divide. So you can set that as a fraction. Uh, one ounce over 30 milliliters. And then that will be times 300 milliliters over one. Remember, to make a whole number into a fraction, you just put it over one. And then for like units to cancel, we have to have one on the top, one on the bottom. So you see we have a milliliter on the top in the, in the second fraction, and there's a milliliter on the bottom from the first fraction. So we can just mark those out, those cancel. And then that leaves us with ounces, which is what we are looking for, how many ounces. And so if we just do the math here, we have 300 ounces divided by 30, because our milliliters were canceled out, so all we're left with is ounces, and that equals 10 ounces. So just something to remember with this method is the unit that you're looking for must be on the top. After your units cancel, you want to make sure that the one that you're looking for is left on the top so that that will give you um, the correct answer. And now method number two, um, the same problem. How many ounces are in 300 milliliters? As I said, what we know from our memorization, um, one ounce equals 30 milliliters. So with this method, too, we're going to set up equivalent fractions, cross multiply, and then divide. So there's one ounce per 30 milliliters, and we're going to see that is equal to x ounces, where x here is a variable representing the answer we're looking for, per 300 milliliters. So we've set up, this is sort of an algebra way to do it. And the first thing we'll do is cross multiply. So we have 1 times 300, mil, 300, and that gives us 300. And then we'll divide by the other side to solve for x. So, so 300 divided by 30 equals 10 ounces. And now we'll just look at a summary and kind of a review of the conversions um, video. Um, conversions are the changing of one unit of measure to a different unit of measure. And memorization is key. You have to know the, the equivalents to be able to even, even begin a conversion calculation. And I'll just review the common conversion equivalents once more here. Um, one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. One milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. One kilogram equals 1,000 grams, which also equals 2.2 pounds. One grain, remember this is GR is the abbreviation, is 64.8 milligrams. One pound equals 454 grams. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. One meter equals 100 centimeters. One teaspoon equals 5 milliliters. One tablespoon equals 15 milliliters, which also equals 3 teaspoons. One liter equals 1,000 milliliters. One milliliter equals 20 drops. Remember, drops is abbreviated GTTS sometimes, 
which also equals one cc, which is a cubic centimeter. One ounce equals 30 milliliters. One gallon equals four quarts, which equals eight pints. Um, one pint is equal to 473 milliliters. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful, and please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thanks.